milk. Perfect timing. Well, I found a use for you then. What are you up to today, love? Uh, not much. Might try job hunting and then go to the gym. At the gym again? Got somebody in there you fancy? Who is it? Dev? Hey, <laughs> eh? go on, you can tell us. I won't set Mick, honest. Leave her alone. I'm only having a bit of fun, Mum. You've forgotten what that's like. Uh, I have plenty of fun, thank you very much. Oh, do you? Go on, then, what fun have you got in store for us today? Well, for your information, I'm going shopping with Michael. You know what you mean, shoplifting? Let me clip us packed up. So I was wondering if you could give us a hand. Hey, uh, there's a couple more bags outside. Can you grab them for us while I sort this lot out? Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing? That's mine. I thought you said this was over with. Give it back. I said give it me back now. Me, no, not until you tell me the truth. So, all these texts are from what's her name? Lauren? No, there's others. Mates of hers. I thought that now school's over, it'd stop, but it's just got worse. Why didn't you tell me it was still going on? Or at least tell someone? Like who? My mum. Don't you think I wanted to? But how could I with everything that she's been going through? Listen, Lauren and the rest of them, they're just spiteful, jealous little cows. Maybe. But at least they're not on their own. Oh, get off me and stop looking at me like that. Like what? Like I'm some sort of pathetic little child. That's not what I was thinking. Yes, it is. But do you know what? I don't care anymore. Because you're right, I am pathetic. I'm just a stupid, useless, fat, ugly crybaby. <laughs> Look, I know things seem bad right now, but stuff Lauren and the rest of them. You've done your exams now, and once you get your results, you won't have to go back there ever again. Not if you don't want to. You could go to college or even get a... No, I can't. Why not? Because I messed them up. My exams, all of them. I thought you'd been working really hard. I tried, but I just couldn't concentrate, not with everything that's been going on. I ended up walking out of my last one. I told Gran what had happened and she... Hang on a minute. Gail knows. Yeah, but I made a promise not to say anything. Not to you or David and definitely not my mum. <sighs> Bethany, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. Why? It's not like it's your fault. Anyone home? In here. No interruption, anything, are No. We're just chatting. Just of all the shopping bags. I just bought some new things for the room. I was meant to be taking stuff back. Yeah, I did, and then I saw some more stuff. You got a problem with that? No, of course not, dearest, but now that you've finished emptying half of Manchester's department stores, how do you fancy picking up the sprogs? I can pick them up for you. You don't have to do that. I know. I want to. Who'd have thought that, eh? Two uses for her in one day. All right, I'm going to show her. If you're trying to avoid me, it's not going to work. I'm not, but this is my problem. I'll deal with it. How are you going to do that? I don't know. What are you doing up? It's okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? Me? I'm great at keeping secrets. Give them here. Everyone has accidents. It's been a nightmare. Oh, mate. You won't tell my mum, will you? She might be able to help you. She'll think I'm being a baby. 
Your mum might have a big gob on her, but she'd never want you to be upset or scared. Right, let's do a deal. I'll help you sort this if you promise you'll tell your mum. Maybe. Right. Go and get some clean sheets. I'll help you when I've done this. No, I can do no, it. It's all right. It doesn't feel right her not being here. She should be here. All right. Not in front of the kids. Sorry. I'll get it. All right, thank you. We need to tell Mum. I know. We'll have to think how to do it. We'll ring Dr Parker and discuss it with him first. He's here. Do you want to speak to him? It's Gran. I don't think he's up for talking. OK. All right, I will. Right, bye. She's over at Grasmere Drive. She's helping look after the kids. She wants to know if you'll be joining them. Should be sat there. Uh, I told her that you'd spoken to Mum's doctors and I'm going to tell her what's happened. I'll tell her. She's my sister and Callow's my wife, so... But I don't mind coming with you. No, you won't. There's no point going in there, mob handed scaring her. Anyway, it was me who spoke to the nurses, so... I wouldn't do anything to upset my mum. We have that in Ryan. We need to talk about Max as well. Max can wait. Hello? Yeah, speaking. And that's happening now, is it? Would you know when she'll be there? Right, OK. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. All right, bye. They've released the body. What does that mean? Well, it means at some point I'll go to the chapel arrest and visit her. OK, so Kylie then, Mum? No, Sarah first. Get out of the way. I don't think Kylie's going anywhere. <laughs> You didn't have to come. She's my mum. I'm worried about her. Do you know what time she's back from this session? Well, that nurse said any minute. I wanted to do this on my own. And I told you, she's my mum. I want to be here. Hiya. Hello. You all right? Yeah, you know. Should I hang around? No, you're OK. Yeah, you're good, thanks. Yeah. You feeling all right, David? Yeah, I'm just a bit under the weather, really. Oh, well, you need to make sure you look after yourself. Yeah, well, enough about me. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. How's me, Mum? Oh, you know, annoying as always. And uh, Kylie, she all right? Well, the, um... The thing is, she's, uh... Mum, Kylie's... You, you know, the thing with Kylie is nothing's ever easy, is it? You know, things haven't been good for some time. You know, we've been under a lot of stress and everything lately. But uh, the other day we thought we'd take the kids up to the Red Wreck to let them have a play about and a walk. And uh, it started to rain, so... We get in this shelter, and Lily had fallen asleep, but all Max wanted to do was just run around, carry on playing, getting wet. And uh, Kylie started to tell me this story about when her and Becky, they were kids, they'd been playing out in their yard. Uh, it started to get dark, so they went back in the house. Only the mum wasn't there. So they went round all the local pubs looking for her. <laughs> Couldn't find her. And they were starving, so they went back home. It'd been raining, soaked through, and all they had to eat in the house was two mushrooms and a slice of bread. <laughs> and so they ended up having raw mushrooms on toast. Okay, and <laughs> she made it sound dead funny anyway, but I just remember thinking, you know, this girl, this, this mad, Crazy girl. 
She's like one of the strongest people I know. And if I could just have one ounce of her strength. David, are you all right? Sarah Kylie's dead. How, how did it happen? She got into an argument on the street. And someone stabbed her. I couldn't stop the bleeding. Um, I was with her at the end, you know, when, when she went in my arms. I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> oh, it just doesn't seem real. It... No, none of it does. I don't know what to do. Um, sweetheart, can you just make yourself scarce, please? I can't handle this, you know. I'm, I'm more mature than you think. Oh, please, can you just... Go to the kitchen and just make David a sweet cup of tea. Go on. You haven't got any of that bug spray, have you? No, I used the last of it to kill me triffids on my begonias. Aphids. Why do you ask? Well, these flowers are crawling. Listen to this, will you? What is it? It's a relaxation app for my mum. Oh, so I've accident, sir. Don't know, Wigan. Sounds like someone needs their adenoids out to me. Huh. Well, that's not going to relax her. It's going to make her more stressed. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi, sweetheart. It's lucky I got there when I did. She was going to make a run for it. You weren't. I'm sick of waiting. I've got to go back tonight. I've got you some uh, coconut madeleines for the deli. Because mm, coconut madeleines make everything all right. Yeah. Anyway, shall I put the kettle on? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> How are you doing? Mm, well, I'm not exactly doing somersaults. But... You're fine, though, aren't you? You're coping. Well, kind of, as I can, really. Yeah, you and me both. Do you not think it's a bit too soon to be doing stuff like this? It's what David wants. <sighs> yeah, but is he any fit state to be making big decisions? Look, we're just sorting everything out. He doesn't have to get rid till he's good and ready. We still have to choose something for her to wear for the funeral. Oh, this is so her. Oh, yes, that is so Kyla. Ugh. But do you think it's an appropriate outfit to be buried in? I don't know. A daft T-shirt and a mini skirt. Not much in the way of decorum, is it? Do you reckon? I think you shouldn't even be doing this. It's too upsetting. I told you I'm OK. Listen, now, it's Kylie we're talking about. We've got to put her in some that she'd like. I did say we should make a start. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's no point keeping hold of it all, is there? Yeah, well, we can take it all to the charity shop and then someone will benefit. Yeah, just um, just make sure it all goes. And uh, take it to one in town. Actually, I don't fancy seeing Liz McDonald squeezed into one of her tops. We're choosing her last outfit. What do you reckon? Um, maybe you should have a say. Well, I've already picked it. So it's all washed, it's high-end, it's, it's hung up in the wardrobe. It's very organised of you. Yeah, well, the funeral's the last thing we can do for her, isn't it? So it's got to be right. Uh, I think I might head over to the gym for a bit. No, you need to stay here today. Why? What difference will it make? Well, because it's Kylie's birthday. And we all need to stay together as a family, even for David. He's doing loads better. Yes, he is, but look, like your mum said, um, it's going to be a difficult day for him. All right. Well, you were going to the churchyard. Yeah, don't worry, the vicar's not got a sideline. Past the garden centre on the way home and swings were on offer. So you've got a swing? Uh, yeah. Lily's been after one for ages and... Kyle liked birthdays, so she'd want them to have fun. Yeah, 
She would. Yeah, you know, where's Max? I'm gonna need help building this. Uh, thing. Max is still in his room. Lily's outside. Oh, I'll check this out there then. <clears throat> he seems perfectly fine. He's doing his best. There's a difference. So I was thinking of joining to try and get fit for the police. Mm, going ahead with it then. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, I was bricking it before my ace results, but they were all right. Oh, I'm sure yours won't be as bad as... Shall I just stop now? Uh, no, it's all right. So, what do you want to know about the gym? Try it the other way round. No, I can't do it that way round, can I? Because the seat will be upside down. It's meant to be a kid's swing, not a white knuckle ride. <sighs> can't use the did all the flat pack stuff. Craig, are you any good at stuff like this? Uh, not really, but I'll have a look. I'll make the brains trust a cup of tea. Oh. Oh, yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, no, I'm all right. Are you? You know, sitting here fretting over your exam results isn't going to change a thing. What's done is done. Put that there. What about this thing? Must be a spare. Looks sturdy enough to me. Yeah, love it. I think you're doing a really good job there, David. Lily, darling, do you want to come and give this a go? Do you hear that, Lily? Your swing's ready. Come on, you can get on it with me. I'll go first, then. <sighs> See? It's absolutely fine. <laughs> Do you reckon I should concentrate more on cardio or weights? Um, a bit of those. And on the treadmill, how long oh, should look, I? Look, I'm not an expert. I've only just started myself. Gary will give you a full induction. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I am. Um, I didn't mean to snap at you. It's all right. I understand. You've got bigger things on your mind. I don't know how I'd cope. I'll be all right. I just wanted today to be special. It is. First time I've seen Max laugh in ages, so it's a red letter day in my book. Yeah, too right. Look how happy they are. I suppose that's kids all over that, isn't it? Playing with boxes. <laughs> <gasps> boxes? Bethany! I forgot to say, uh, Nick dropped a parcel off earlier. It was addressed to you at the flat, so it's on the table. Uh, oh, right. Um, I'll go and have a look. What are those? Uh, nothing. Well, they're just vitamins. It's easy to get run down when you're training. OK. They want some more crisps. Oh, OK. There you go. Uh, he best avoid those when you start at the gym. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I need some of those? Um, no. I'll, I'll see how they work on me first. I heard a dicky bill, actually. I had thought of asking him over here, but... Who? Oh, I'm um, there. Uh, ready. No point in letting the grass grow. Mm. You're very quiet, love. Leave him alone. He's concentrating. Oh, does anybody want an ice cream? <laughs> me, me! Oh, yeah, could you get Max one of those yoghurt lollies when without any sugar in? I'll come with you. Uh, no, you're all right. Do you want me to get Lily one for when she wakes up? And get one for Craig. Oh, thanks. I'll have a 99, please. Mm, I bet you can balance that on your head longer than Craig can. It's all right, love. I'll sort it. <clears throat> you know, despite you trying to hide it, you are a good girl. <laughs> what? Well, I know you prefer to be somewhere else. The family. And I know it's been tough for David, but like I said, I think he's doing all right. Yeah, I think he is. Anyway, I better go. Uh, will you put Lily's in the freezer, please?
a ruler. Yes. How could you do it? Sorry? It's everywhere. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You took about. a picture of me falling off that stupid swing and posted it, didn't you? I thought you'd find it funny. Funny? Are you stupid? I like a big fat Bethany. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sure nobody will even care. Oh, don't be like that, love. I'm really sorry. I took down the picture. No, it doesn't matter now, does it? Everyone's seen it. Me breaking a swing sounds too fat. Hilarious. You're not fat. Oh, just don't, all right? You're beautiful. All the lads at school, right? They're always saying you're dead fit. Oh, just shut up. You know nothing. any harm, you know? I know, I know. That thing was held together on a wing in a prayer anyway. So you were right. It's been a lovely day. Sad. But lovely. Now, what do you want for your tea? Uh, just about to clean up my breakfast things. Do you want anything? Uh, no, I'm all right, thanks. I'll sort myself out in a bit. You look tired. Oh, Harry's just not sleeping very well. You need to look after yourself, Mum. Why do you say that? I just don't want you to get ill again. I'm fine. Promise. I promise. Oh, my God, I just realised it's tomorrow, isn't it? What is? Will you get your exam results. Oh, probably, I'm um, having them sent out. How come? Well, I just don't want to be surrounded by a load of screaming girls, all crying ones. You don't seem very bothered. I think I'm more nervous than you. Well, it's not a big deal, is it? Yeah, of course it is. It's like a whole future that you're talking about. Unless you want to be stuck in some dead-end job. What sort of uh, sports or exercise have you done before? Uh, not much. I mean, you must have played a bit of football, no? Not really. Rugby? No. Running, circuit training, tennis. To be honest, I'm not really into all that. I'm more of the artistic, cerebral, if you get me. Yeah, I think so. Uh, look, uh, don't matter, fill this in, and I'll be back in one second. All right? Hiya. All right, I was going to try and call around later and try and apologise again about that picture. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm sorry for having a go at you. I know you didn't mean anything by it. I still shouldn't have posted it. I know what it's like when people criticise you for how you look and you weigh. Yeah, can we just forget about it? Can I just ask you something? Go on, that's why I'm here. Are you um, sure I'm doing this right? Yeah, you're doing fine, why? It just feels a bit easy. Well, try heavy one, yeah. Okay, uh, Yeah, try that. Too much? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Ben. 
Bethany! Bethany, can you hear me? Bethany! Bethany! I still think we should have called your mum and let her know. She's not well. I don't want her worrying over nothing. It might be right, it might be nothing, but I just want to be sure. Why do you care so much anyway? Because it's my job. I think I should have said something sooner. About what? About you working out all the time and pushing yourself the way you have. Isn't that the point of going to the gym or am I missing something? No, but maybe I am. Like you passed out and that's not normal. So what's the problem? How should I know? You're the expert. Oh, for God's sake, you don't have to walk me home as well. I'm not going to keel over. It's got this. Thanks. Looking for these. At least now I know why you passed out. How long have you been taking them for? Not long. Anyway, they're only diet pills. Where'd you get them from? I don't know if you're aware, but there's this really good thing called the internet. Yeah, it's not funny. These things are really dangerous. You know what sort of stuff they put in them? I've only taken a couple. Chill out. Well, I'm supposed to believe that, am I? Look, you're not my dad, all right? So just leave me alone. Sorry, I'm going to school. It's the holidays. Yes, and I'm picking up my exam results, OK? You're avoiding me. What's up? Exam results. Not good. I told my mum that I was getting them posted out so I could go to school, check them first, make sure they were all right. They're not. Do you want a coffee? No. OK, you can watch me have one then. Come on. So I'm guessing no one else knows about the pills. I've stopped. Honest. After what happened yesterday, I flushed them. It was a stupid idea. Who's that? Oh, just a mate. Look, I appreciate everything you did, and I'm not saying things are peachy, but I am okay. I don't believe you. Why not? Calm's body under your grand's bedroom. Kylie murdered in the street, your mum. Dealing with stuff like that's not easy. You're going through a tough time, it's OK to ask for help, you know? Yeah, and I feel better after talking to you. You can't tell anyone, please. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, Gary's just helping me with a new gym programme. All right, cheers. Uh, no worries. <sighs> no exam results. Post come, there's nothing. Honestly, the school, the flaming useless. Oh, uh, yeah, they did say that there could be a delay if there's problems with marking. Um, I'll call them. All right, well, you didn't say that before. You forgot. We need to be helping out with Lily's birthday. Um, I've got to go. Okay. I'm just going to get an espresso. We're sorted now, yeah? Maybe we could go to the school and pick up your results. Uh, no, I, I called them and said they're definitely posting them out tomorrow. Michael will be fine with the kids. Yeah, well, Lily's having a sleep and Max will speak to anyone. He just needs some time. Well, they've been through some tough times, but they're a strong family. Every time they get knocked down, they just get back up again. Hmm. Bit like us. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose. <laughs> I'm just going to nip to the toilet, OK? Uh, can we go out the back? I'm 16. This should be my choice, not yours. It's pretty clear you need help. You've got to talk to your mum. I can handle it, all right? You're not still discussing gym programmes. <sighs> no, you're right. I, um, I got my results. What? I lied. I went to pick them up from school today. I didn't tell you because, well, they're bad. How bad? Mm. 
And you failed three. You're predicting much better grades than these. Oh, it's just all my fault, isn't it? I mean, everything that's happened, dragging you back from Milan and Callum and Kylie. I can retake them, though. I'll do better next time. I've just been such a rubbish mum. I've just let you down so bad. I'm so sorry. You, from now on, things are going to be different, I promise you. Okay? Look, I should be getting off. Did you know about this this morning at the cafe? I said she needs to talk to you. Well, at least there was somebody there she felt she could talk to, so... Look, these things seem bad at the time, but there's always a way to sort them out. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Oi! You missed it. Leanne, pregnant, due in spring. OK, uh, this calls for a little champagne. Will you join us? Me? Yes, you. You did help break the good news, didn't you? Oh, oh go on then. My pleasure. Give us a hand. Uh, two bottles of champagne, please, Liz, and I hope you'll join us as well. I'm fine, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. So, it's going to be another baby in the family. Oh, it's, um, it's great. Unfortunately, we've, we've had some bad news. Bad news? Bethany's exam results. Oh, dear. Uh, are they a bit of a disappointment, sweetheart? Uh, more like disaster. Well, I'm not surprised after that letter from the school. What letter? Oh, she walked out of one of the exams. Well, it wasn't going very well, was it? We, we didn't want to tell you because it was while you were in hospital. You should have told me. Well, she can take it again. Yeah. So, I was right, it is my fault. No, no, it's not. I can redo the whole year if I have to. Well, you're coping very well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go home, if that's all right. I'm not really in the mood for celebrating. Are you sure? And the rest. Your bum weighs more than that on its own. What are you doing here? I thought we could be gym buddies. Seeing as you've got no mates. Well, come on, lardy. Look at the state of you wobbling like a jelly. <laughs> How did you get that fat? Stuffing your face full of chips again. Leave me alone. Well, I I'm helping. If you keep getting fatter and fatter, then you're going to explode, and then we'll all be covered in... plat fat. <laughs> plat fat. <laughs> ah! You're going to regret that. Oi, oi! Leave it. Well, she hit me. You saw what happened. No, I saw you start it. Now get out and don't come back. I am going to make you suffer. I said out. Go on. That your friend, is it? I can't believe I hit her. She's going to be so mad. Does your mum know about this bully? She thinks it's sorted. Well, it's clearly not, is it? She's been through so much. You saw what she's like. And you think you can handle it by yourself? You know, I've messed up so many times I've lost count. Most of the time it's because I was too dumb or too proud to ask for help. I don't want to worry my mum. But I can help. All right, but you've got to meet me halfway. First, no more pills and that's a deal breaker. Okay. I told you, I flushed them away anyway. When you're back at school? Next week. All right, then next week I'm coming in with you to report Lauren. No. Hey, I never said this was going to be easy, all right? But whatever's been done before, it's not working, is it? No, please. Or we can tell your mum, but I can't keep this to myself. Fine. We're going to school. All right, come on. Where are we going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm walking you home in case your mate's standing around. Been in the losers class again. You'd think being as ugly as you are, you'd at least be a little bit brainy. But you're not. Why aren't you saying anything? Are you scared? No. But you should be. No one punches me and gets away with it. Look at you. You pathetic little girl. You look like you're about to pee your pants. You two girls are okay? Yeah, we're great, thanks, sir. Bethany? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Can I borrow you for a moment? Why? Nothing to worry about. See you around. Yeah. Mm. 
What are you doing here? I told you I'd come in first day back dinner. I didn't think you actually would. Well, I am glad you came in, Mr. Windus. And after what you told me... What's he told you? About Lauren and her mates and that they've made your life hell. They already know that. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, we are very proud of our anti-bullying policy. We have a zero-tolerance approach. Well, it's clearly not working, is it? It's not that simple. All right, well, I'll make it simple for you, shall I? Either this Lauren and her mates are dealt with, or you'll be getting a little call from a solicitor friend of mine, and you can talk to her all about this useless anti-bullying policy. I don't appreciate his threatening behaviour, Mr Windus. Well, you know what? Neither does Bethany. But she has to put up with threats every day at this school. So sort it out, yeah? Or I will. I think you might have just made it worse. Have you heard anything from her? Text her out. Good. Now, you couldn't just keep suffering in silence. People like that have got to learn they can't get away with it. Yeah, I know, but... But nothing. I'm not having them little scans upset you anymore. <laughs> right, come on, chips are on me. Um, no, I'm all right, thanks. Who turns down free chips? Grand's me my tea. I'll see you in the gym tomorrow, though. All right, you're on. If you get any more stupid sex, let me know, yeah? How are you doing? I'm going to school, so you've not missed any cartwheels. Any more bother? Nothing. Headmaster's talking to Lauren, so hopefully everything will be sorted. That's great news. You have breakfast? Poached eggs on toast, and it was lovely. But is in your lunchbox? Yes. All right, stop worrying. Uh, you're a valued client. I just want to make sure you're all right. See you. Gary? Yeah? Thank you. Are not having dinner at school? Why do you think? Thought she'd laid off, you know. Yeah, no, I know why. They've asked me to go to a meeting at school tomorrow with the headmaster and Lauren and her mum. Well, that's a good thing, surely. You and your mum can tell them what's been going on. I'm not taking mum. She needs to know what's happening. But she's not long got out of hospital. The last thing she needs is me worrying her as well. Will you come? No, it's your mum's place now. You can put this aggro to bed for good. Like, you think that Lauren's just going to roll over and admit everything? No. No. She's going to tell them that I gave her a slap the other week and then I'm going to look like the guilty one. Your teachers are stupid. They know what you like and they'll realise Lauren must have done something, yeah? But you'll need support, someone to fight your corner. You need your mum. Take them off. What? We, we need to have a talk before David and everyone get back. Oh, I'll tidy my room at the weekend. I went to see Gary Windass earlier. Why? Why? Because you are spending every spare minute of your time at that gym and you talk to him a lot more than you talk to me. What did he say? Has he tried it on with you? No. Well, what is going on then? Because I can see that there's something. Well, he's just been helping me. Oh, yes, helping you with the gym programme. He said that. No. But... With Lauren. She was having a go at me in the gym and I punched her. Good. It's about time. And then Gary came to school with me and we reported what she's been doing. There's a meeting about it tomorrow. Why didn't you tell me this? I'm sorry. So there's, there is nothing? No. No. You can talk to me. Please talk to me. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come with you to that meeting. Don't even try and stop me. Are you sure you're OK? Fine. Come here. Are you sure you don't mind coming? Of course not. I want to see the little thug get nailed. I right, just remember to stay calm and just think before you speak, OK? for coming. Bethany, you have made some very serious allegations about Lauren. Darling, you don't have to be scared. You just tell Mr Griffin exactly what you told me. It's been happening for ages. It's just getting worse. Lauren's been making Bethany's life hell for months. It has to stop. Yeah, and I've seen it with my own eyes at the gym. You mean when she did this? What? You started it! That is literally the first time I've ever fought back. I've had loads of bruises from you because you've been vile to me. 
attacked me over and over again. I was scared to leave the house. Well, now you're just twisting things, Bethany. Well, she's the one doing the bullying, sir. Well, now she's trying to blame it on me, and I've never laid a finger on her. You liar! Why would you even say that? She's just making it up. So you say. And I've been too scared to tell anyone. Well, she threatens me all the time. Well, that's why she's made all this stuff up, to cover her trap. You lying cow! Bethany? I've seen programmes about stuff like this. Bullies can be dead clever. They can twist everything. The only one twisting anything is your daughter. She's lying through her teeth, and you're deluded. Oh, you shot it! You shot it! Right! This behaviour is disgraceful from all of you. Bethany, Lauren, you are both suspended until further notice. But... <laughs> Decision is final. You could have told me. Dev made me stand at the desk like a lemon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Is that all you can say? She's cancelled my gym membership. You spent too long in that gym. Oh, well, you should be glad it's not the pub. Oh, can we sort this without rowing, please? Well, it is my fault. If we just spent a bit more time together, none of this would have happened. Oh, yeah, if I'd have gone out jogging with Mummy, I would have never have been bullied or suspended. You've been suspended? Well, I can't know if you don't tell me. We'll do something nice together, just the oh. two. I'm not having you wandering the streets. Well, she can come and work with me. Paid? I'd like to keep your tips. Done. I'll go and get changed. Well, usually Maria does it, but I don't care who gets it. As long as it's not my job. Yeah, me and Maria, we've got this code for us more cutting-edge clients. It means the ones that have a pulse. Oh. ABA. Anyone but Audrey. So ABD stands for... <laughs> Get out. Go on, I'll see you Saturday. I'll see you Tuesday. Yeah, hopefully she would have cheered up by then. Yeah, don't bank on it. Look, Bethany, that's school's for you, kid. All they care about is discipline. Justice doesn't even come into it. Mr. Griffin didn't even listen. Well, no, he won't have done. He'd have just wanted you out the door. Take the heat out of it. Hope it all goes away. I hope it all goes away. But it won't. Lauren won't let it. Bethany, you need to grasp something, all right? This world... It isn't fair. Never has been, never will be. I can't believe I've just been banging on about this to you. This is her. She's making me feel sorry for myself. I'm not even thinking straight everything you've been through. You're not feeling sorry for yourself. Lauren's everyone's worst nightmare. This isn't right. God, it was so brave. I'm just a wuss. And I'm the one that's still alive. Well, stop it, all right? That's not what I meant. I'm just stupid. This is nothing. It's first world problems. Bethany, I don't need this. I miss her. I just wish I'd made her proud. Where are you going? I'm just up to change my T-shirt. I'll go and get it for you. What if one of your clients turns up? How long are you going to be? Well, just sit them down. Make them a brew. I won't be long. Your grand wants locking up. Leaving you on your own with a till. Mind you, what's in it? Shillings and sovereigns. That's not a very nice welcome. Where's my free coffee? Where's my glossy magazine? Get out. David will be back in a minute. Oh, I'm trembling in my trainers. Shall I come, by the way? My dad got on me, cos I was upset. He gets what it's like to be bullied. Ah! Whoops. What are fingers? You can pay for this. Yeah, right. It's probably fairly liquid anyway. You're only making things worse coming here. Yeah, well, that's the general idea. Can't help myself. Just drawn to you, like a moth to a flame. Like a fly round. What are you doing? Uh, this is... Lauren, yeah, I remember. She's not supposed to be here. We were told... Oh, it's to... a hairdresser's. I didn't expect to find you skivvy in. Right, pack it in, the pair of you. This has got to stop before it gets serious. Well, it is serious. It's damaging my education. Oh. Four days into my A-levels and I'm suspended. You might not care. You're only doing resits after all, but my results matter. Yeah, OK, great. Let's just draw a line under it right now. What? If school won't sort it out for you, I will. What, with a slap? That's what you would have done last time. Do you not read the papers, Lauren? Do you know what happened to my wife? Stupid little rounds, all they do is snowball. Before you know it's a turf war. After that, someone will be lying on the tarmac with a knife stuck between the ribs. 
I'm asking you. No, I'm not. I'm begging you. Not this on the ad. Now. Kiss and make up. Yeah, be the bigger person. Right, you don't trust me. It's fine, I get it. Why would you? Tell you what, let me do something for you. Lauren, take a seat. Call it an olive branch. Bethany, full body shampoo with the Atacama conditioner for 10 minutes. You must be joking me. You want me to wash her hair? Lauren's my guest. You're my junior. That's what juniors do. It's not my fault, you know, that I get good marks and people want to be my friend. People might want to be her friend, too, if she wasn't so... Jealous. Bethany, can you do me a favour? Can you nip across to Roy's and get some coffees, please? What? Lauren, what do you want? Cappuccino or latte? Uh, skinny cap, no chocolate, thanks, babe. I'll give you some more. Have you lost your mind, genuinely? I mean, one and all. <sighs> Sorry about that. Can't get the staff these days. So, Lauren, where's you usually go, then? Ryan Carter hair. Oh, Ryan Carter to Audrey's, eh? I know we're not great shakes to look at, but try to give our clients everything they want. No, what we do is we give them everything they deserve. I've got a question for you. Wait, hang on. You're only giving me a wash and a blow dry. What do you need scissors for? Oh, yeah. Silly me. English science or hairdressing, you choose. What? We'll call it a bit of home tuition, since as how you... Now you got yourself suspended, and Bethany, for that matter. Uh, she's the one that got us suspended. Right. English, science, or hairdressing? Well, hairdressing's not an actual subject. What is the chemical structure of hair? Do you know what? Uh, I've got to get going anyway, well, so no, I'll no, just no, dry no, it OK, just home. answer the question first. What's hair made up of? Well, it's a stupid question. Hair's like... Hair, isn't it? It's made up of hair. Yeah, you should have spent a bit more time at school learning stuff, really, shouldn't you, rather than making my niece's life miserable? <laughs> you don't know what she's really like. Really? Tell me, then. Well, she's a bully. She's nasty. And she's jealous that I've got mates and I'm going to go to university and she'd struggle to get a job in a place like this. Ow! Hair is made up mostly of keratin. What's it made of? Well, you're hurting me! Say keratin. Keratin! Right, which is a protein. What is it? Well, get off me. I'm going to put this all over Facebook. What is it? A protein! Right, now say I'm never going to bully Bethany ever again. You mad? Say it! Ah, you're just as bad as her. No wonder her mum's been locked up in the nut house and her auntie's been murdered. <gasps> what have you done? Come near me, Bethany, or my family again, and it'll be your throw next time. Well, let me out! Help! Would you like another appointment in about six weeks' time? Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, love. I thought you were helping David at the salon. Uh, yeah. He wanted posh coffee. Posh coffee, David. Is it all right? Um, yeah. Just one's for a customer. Come oh, come and sit down with us, eh? Tell us how you're doing. It'll get cold. I'm gonna ring the police. And I'm not lying. Ha <laughs> That is one radical haircut. It's gonna be blue lights, this one. Oh, what have you done? Teenager saying she's been locked up and assaulted. That's Nina's all the way. He didn't assault her, he cut her hair. Right, what's the surname? If you look at someone funny these days, it's assault. Oh, I'll just stick with Lauren. That's friendlier. Right, 4.45 with David for... a restyle. <laughs> restyle. Teenagers these days, they ask for one thing, change their minds halfway through, bottle it, kick off. She's going to kill me. Chill out. She deserves it. You're too right, she deserves it. Look, nobody messes with me and my family anymore, all right? Ever. What are you doing out here? 
Mum, what are you doing? Um, I hope you're not getting stroppy with me again. I wasn't, you just made me jump. Right, well, come in with me. You can help me make tea. I will in a bit. We're only having omelette and salad. It's nothing. I will in a minute. Oh, here he is. Where have you been? A text. Yeah, and I thought you'd be sooner. Your gran and Sarah are going to the pub. Yeah, come with us. Bethany's putting the kids to bed. No, you're all right, sir. What was the business thing? What business thing? Well, Bethany said you were having a business chat or something. I mean, that's what held you up. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a uh, rep. You know what, like, they always want a piece of you. I hope you didn't sign us up for anything. No, no, I got out scot-free. Mm -hmm. Right, if, um, if Harry doesn't settle, you just text me, OK? All right, love. I'm here. You have a lovely time. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye-bye. I've, uh, I've saved you some tea. I wish they'd locked you up. Liz Lauren would think she's got her own back. Oh, just drop it, Bethany. I have. Hi, Bethany. Thank you for waiting. Hi. Hope you're expelling her and all. Expelled? Yeah, thanks to you and your big mouth and all the lies that come out of it. Uh, can you call Mr Marks, please, immediately? Who's Mr Marks? Well, he's a PE teacher. He's massive. <sighs> Look, my Lauren's the victim in all this, right? Her uncle's threatened her. One of them cut her hair off. She used to be a real stunner, my Lauren. Well, you said he wasn't that bad. I had to say that, didn't I? You're going ballistic. Right. Out. Now. Before I'm forced to call the police. Mr Marks is on his way. You should be ashamed of yourself threatening me with your bully boys. <laughs> That's rich. Uh, quick, quiet, please, Bethany. If you have any complaints about the action we've taken, then I suggest you go through the appropriate channels. You've not heard the last of this. I can promise you that. Come on. Not difficult to see where she gets it from. So that's it. Yes. I, I wanted to thank you, actually. Mm. Because of your courage in coming forward, several other girls did. Even some of her friends. Apparently, you weren't the only person being terrorized by Lauren. You're a very brave young woman. Hello. Hello. What's wrong? Nothing. Lauren's been expelled. You're joking! But because Bethany was so brave, other girls came forward. Apparently, she'd been terrorising half the girls in the school. Oh, you're kidding me. Lauren's dad was there, shouting the odds, which only made things worse for her. And what about the other girls in her gang? I mean, have they been punished too? I don't know. Lauren was the ringleader, I think. Most of them were just as scared as I was. So is that it then? Is it over? Oh, darling, oh, it's oh, okay. okay. Oh. It must be such a relief. I was just dreading seeing her again. It's in my head all the time. Of course, it's okay. After everything David's been through, I didn't want to bang on about my stupid problems. Oh, darling. But it's done with now, it's over. And that is because of you, because you've been so brave. <sighs> Look at the state of me. What am I like? Well, do you know what? I've got some really good news for you and I think it's gonna put a smile on your face. So, you know those flats that Todd's selling? I'm gonna buy one of them. You made your mind up then? Yep, I've had to put this reservation fee down, so... Oh, what? How? Oh, long story, but it's thanks to your uncle Stephen. But the main thing is you and me and little Harry, we're finally going to have a proper little home of our own. <laughs> <laughs> Bit early for that, isn't it? What I don't get is why would you buy a flat that doesn't even exist yet? Why wouldn't you get one that you can move into straight away? You're trying to get rid of us. Ever since you landed from Milan. I'm just ignoring. I always do. Mother. It's the third time I've rung this morning. It's all right, Harry. I'll be ready in a minute. I just want to know what's happening with it. Nice bald egg, Bethany. Set you up for the day. Look, I come down there myself, but I'd only be hanging around for hours on end. Oh, I think I'm going to make it too warm So now. when will I know? It suits them. Thank you. Bye-bye. Any luck? No, he's still being questioned. They won't say for how long. It's like trying to get blood out of a stone. Right, come on, Max. I'm going. Have you had breakfast? 
Yeah, I've got some fruit in my bag. Well, that's not going to do you. Right, well, I'll get a sandwich at the cafe then. And how much is that going to cost? Sorry, got to dash. I'm running to school. I need to get my exercise from somewhere, seeing as though I can't go to the gym. Who's that now? <sighs> I'm looking for a Mrs. Rodwell. It's for you, Gran. She's going for it. Yeah, she is. And she's keen if this is her dinner hour. When's the next Olympics? Saw so you out running earlier. Stalking me now, are we? What was it, 5K more? I don't know, wasn't counting. You're not overdoing it again, are you? I don't think so. You're not still on the diet pills? No, and I wasn't bunking off either before you ask. I was on my lunch hour. Things are a lot better than asking Lauren Black's girls. Yeah? Yeah. It all came out what she'd been doing. Not just to me, those of other girls as well. That's good, isn't it? It's just nothing. No, go on, you can tell me. Things are just a bit crazy at home. Well, that's not surprising, is it? David's head's all over the place. Max and Lily are finding it hard. How are things with your mum? Not bad, I suppose. But not great. It's not that she doesn't care. She's buying one of those flats for us to live in, so we've got a place of our own. But I don't know. Things aren't back to normal. Anyway, I better go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever you want to talk? Thanks, Gary. Glad someone's happy to listen. Bethany! I'm going for a run. How'd you guess? I thought you went for one this morning. Oh, yeah, but everyone's been really weird today, so I thought I'd get out of the house. And it's not like I can go to the gym, is it, seeing as though you cancel my membership? I thought we were going to go for a run together. What is it with you, this obsession with working out all the time? Why are you so dramatic? It's not an obsession. Oh, good. You won't mind giving it a miss, then. You can come with me. Where? Roy's. Come on, we'll have a little chat and a bite to eat. I'm not hungry. Tough. Oh, all in his size, just one out of shape, defend it a bit. There you go. Dig in. So, so what? Uh, are you going to tell me what's up? Nothing. Oh, darling, I'm not stupid. All this running and exercise... Oh, here we go. Is it because of how you think you might look? Because, you know, if it is, you have nothing to worry about. You are so beautiful. Why does it have to be about how I look? Well, because you're a teenage girl and newsflash, I actually was one once. And apart from well, boys and music, the only things we ever thought about were clothes and our hair and you know, how we looked. Well, I'm not you, am I? So can I get off, please? Not until you've had this. I'll just have it to go. No. Because I actually can't remember the last time I've seen you eat, so... No. What are you scared of? It's just a sandwich. I'm not scared of anything. Come on, then. Fine, if it'll get you off my back. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Please, please, just talk to me. How many times have you been running today? Twice. How about yesterday? Three, four times. Darling, that isn't normal. Neither's having a dead body under your house or someone in your family getting murdered or your mum going off her head. Sorry. But it isn't your fault. None of it is. Look, I'm just, I'm trying to work out what all this is about. Right, you tell me the truth, OK? Have you been making yourself sick? No. That's why I exercise so much. I work out what I've eaten, how many calories, and then I figure out how many kilometres I have to run or reps I have to do to burn it off. At least I'm practising my maths. So it is all about your weight, then? Some. But mostly it's like... when I'm running or I'm at the gym, I don't have to think about what's happened or how messed up everything is. I don't have to think about anything. That's what I need right now, Mum. OK. 
Okay, um, well, what about I, I can have a word with Gary and we could renew your membership at the gym. But that is on the condition that you and him, you work out a training programme that is not going to make you ill, OK? So would that make you happy? I'm a teenage girl. Of course not. Well, you've got to promise me. If there is something that is upsetting you or something wrong, you talk to me, OK? OK. I'm sorry, but um, are you nearly done? Because I need to close up. Yeah, yeah, we're done. What on earth did you lie? I didn't lie! You're doing it again! Look, how can I talk to you if you're not telling I didn't me? lie! I just didn't tell you because I'd stopped taking them. How do I know that's even the truth? Well, Sarah, look Mum, at... please, stop! Do you have any idea how dangerous it can be? Do you? Yes! And I swear, after we talked, I... I haven't taken them since. I'm telling you the truth. Why didn't you tell me about this when we sat there and we talked about the other stuff? I just didn't want you to be disappointed in me. Gary tried to tell me, but I, I didn't listen. Gary? Don't blame him. I told him not to say anything. I am really sorry. OK. Come here. Oh, right, can you not fry bacon when I've just washed my hair? I'll have dogs following me to school. Oh, excuse me, Princess Bethany. Perhaps you'd like to give me a list of the foods we are allowed to eat whilst in your presence. <laughs> I'll put a post-it note on the fridge. <laughs> oh, milk. Finally, we were all getting parched. You're going to be late for work. Oh, yeah, Nick said uh, not to come in uh, so much about the Alex at the bistro, so I've got the morning off. Hmm? You all right, David? Yeah, I would be if Madame here would eat a breakfast. Do you want me to see too? No, you're all right. Could do with you looking after him tomorrow, though. So you are definitely going to go to the trial, then? Yeah, won't miss it for the world. I'll take Matt to school for you if you want. All right, cheers, thanks. It's been good of you, that. I'll go and get us a paper, shall I? Make the most of your money off. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Come on, then, shrimp, and don't slow me down. Eat my dust. All right, since when do I get a kiss goodbye? Are we not going to the gym? Uh, no, I'm just going for a run to the Red Wreck. Not so many meatheads admiring themselves in the mirror, if you know what I mean. Right. You okay? Yeah, yeah, have fun. How did the meeting go? I have been officially discharged. The nurse says that I don't need to see them anymore, apart from a checkup every three months. Oh, Mum, that's so good. You must be really pleased. Oh, I yeah, am, honestly. I've just spent months worrying, thinking, what if I don't get better? What if this is it forever? Oh, I'm really proud of you. Oh, thank mm. you. Mm. Oh, did you manage to pass that card on to Gary? Uh, well, yeah, I tried, but he wasn't at home. Grand said he must be at the hospital. Yeah. Doesn't seem enough, though, does it? A card. Mind you, how do you pay him back after everything he's done for us? Don't know. So, how are you going to celebrate, you know, being cured? Oh, do you know, I've not even thought about it. Why don't you go out and let your hair down? I'll look after Harry if you want. Go out where? Well, what about that bloke you were supposed to be seeing the other week? What about him? I know you and him never managed to hook up in the end, and you seem really into him. So why don't you give him a call? Do you know what? Maybe I will. Hmm. You should do something different this time. Oh, pick a theme. <laughs> Only renewing our vows. Only? You want a day to remember, don't you? What are your passions? Um, apart from Gail. Don't really know. Um, oh, I was very keen on Elvis back in the day. Yeah, I don't really know if I could cope with you in a white fringe jumpsuit. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad I'm seeing you. I wanted to set up some more personal training sessions. Uh, no can do. I'm on the subs bench. Back's still bad, sorry. Bethany, do us a favour and put the kettle on before you go, will you? I'm not your slave. Do it yourself. I'm trampled mud in all over the floor. Gail, I'll have me goods for garters. I'll still be hanging around the gym, though, so whenever you need me, I'm all yours. Oh, yeah. Some um, biscuits go down well and all, yeah? Got to look after the workers.
night's not over already, is it? Never even started, love. Uh, where's my mum? Uh, I don't know if she went home or to Nick's. You okay, love? Sure. Was it him? Of course it was him. Fine, you didn't have to be like that. Is he OK? No, I suppose we should think about getting you somewhere to eat, my love. You must be famished. No, I, I can't think about food. Uh, should we get fish and chips? Yeah, if I give you the money, um, can you go? No, I'll pay. Well, it's all right, Gran. I've got this. No, look, I'll get the fish and chips. I can afford it. I insist. I said it first. Would you please just take the money? Me and Lily have breakfast in bed. What do you think it is? The Ritz? Please. Lily wants to watch Tractor Tom. Right, all right, fine, yeah. I'll bring it up, Your Highness. Wicked. Well, he seems to be cheerful enough. Yeah, I think he's just pleased he didn't have to go to another funeral. Sally said she'd have him. And Harry as well. Oh, blimey. She didn't know what she's letting herself in for. <laughs> I had to give him the speech again last night. I said, it's not another funeral, it's a celebration of Michael's life. You'll be sick of hearing that. Hey, come on, no long faces today, please. Right? Well, it's a funeral, Gran. What do you want? Jazz hands. Who turned the kitchen into a branch of Subway? Uh, can I get you any breakfast, Gran? Uh, just to brew, love, thanks. So they're charging Paul Maria with his fake marriage as well as a murder. Well, what's the point in that? That's like kicking someone in the backside right before you're about to blow their head off. Paul Maria. Paul Maria? We just buried Michael. Don't you think we should at least talk about him for five minutes rather than gossip about how hard somebody else has got it? He doesn't mean that. It's been tough for him today. I know. Just... Is David OK? I think he could do with a cuddle up. On it. How is it that a little lad that's been through what he has can just stay such a little sweetheart? Well, I think that's down to David and your mother, mm -hmm. darling. I think he's a lesson to us all. Well, I just wanted to see if he could shed any light on what happened. No, I don't think he can, love. I mean, he's lost more than everybody, thanks to Vinny. Has anyone got another drink? Oh, no, Tar. We should be getting off. How much did you lose in the flats again? Was it 15 grand, too? Yeah. Yeah. Bethany's really disappointed. Yeah, she must be. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish you'd never got involved. But honestly, you have no idea how much Pat is hating himself right now. Well, it's not his fault, is it? To be honest, you know, with everything that's happened with Michael, he's just put things in perspective. What a positive attitude. Yeah. Um, where's Gary? Oh, he's got his uh, first shift back at the gym. But I'm going to go and see him later. So are you all right just to sit with Graham for a couple of hours? Uh, of course, yeah. Does anybody need a top-up? Not for me. I'm going to make a move. Morning. Oh, hi, sweetheart. How are things at home? What, with Gran? Not great, but that's hardly surprising, is it? Well, I'll pop over and see you later. Off for your run? Did my outfit give it away? Do you know, I just wish I had your energy. I could hardly drag myself out of bed this morning. Half the time I just do it because it stops me from thinking what a mess everything is. See you later. Yeah, all right, my darling. Uh, have you forgotten something? Uh, yeah, kind of. I, I think I might have won some money on this. Huh? Have you down as a gambler? Yeah, I'm not really. Oh. Well, you should start. You've won 300 quid. Oh, lucky me, eh? Hang on, I don't remember selling you this. Um, yeah, I bought it the other day, off Dev. Oh, right. 
Well, I don't have enough cash in the till, so I'll have to nip out the bag. OK. Stay. So, remember the deal. We split it three ways. Agreed. So, how much are we getting, then? <laughs> Be nice to me and I might tell you the gossip. Oh, what? Well, Pat Phelan has been beaten up and he's in hospital. No! Stick little circles all over me. Uh, are you keeping an eye on the time, Mr Minns Man? Yep, I've got 20 minutes before I have to go to school. That's it, you tell her, Max. All right, peel them off, stick them in there. <sighs> you can't blame him. It's his first Christmas without Kylie. He wants to make it the best he can. Oh, and your poor Gran. She's not going to find it easy without Michael. It'd be nice to give David a boost. How do we do that? Well, you're the brains of the family, Mum. Since when? Since I just decided. It's up to you to think of something. Mm. Well, a night out will do you good. I don't want to go on a night out. <sighs> Audrey's having the kids. Yeah, a few drinks. You'll be lovely. There's David. Why can't you come? Oh, cos we're going to the Christmas market. Right, there's my £10 contribution to you. Why are you doing this? Because you need to have some fun. <laughs> it will be fun. Hey, there's some good films on over Christmas. Do you want to flick through a mark any you fancy? Gran? Oh, I'm not bothered what we watch. David always wants something different to everybody else anyway. Oh, I hope he's having a good time. It's his first night out, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pleased about that. Right then, come on, I'm going to be here in a minute. Um, I think I should stay here with Gran. You love the Christmas markets. Oh, well, it'll be even. What's that sickly hot wine they do? Glue vine. Mm, I'd rather drink glue. Oh, you pair of miseries. Oh, you only want to go so you can hang out with Gary. That's not true. Izzy's going, Jake, Harry. I mean, that's the whole point. It's not a date. It's two families, isn't it? Well, this is makeup video I want to watch online anyway. Oh, Bethany, just put your coat on. I don't want to leave her on her own. <sighs> What's all this? Michael's Christmas presents. I always buy Christmas presents early, but... When he died... Well, I just took them out of the cupboard and I shoved them under the bed and I... Didn't think I could cope with them. Not sure I can cope with them now. Hey, it's all right, come on. I'll help you get through it. Yeah, but I'm not getting rid of any of them. I mean, they've all got sentimental value. We only had one Christmas together. And Michael was just like a big kid. He was up before everybody else shouting, he's been, he's been. Made me buy the biggest ham. I mean, we were still going at it in February. Going at it? <laughs> There was a butcher called Fred Elliot on Victoria Street. Going back years. He had a great big booming voice and uh, if ever you ordered a joint of meat off him, he'd say, and how many of you will be going at it? <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to get through these next few weeks. Right, do you know what? I think we should shove it all in a bag and take it to a charity shop. No. Well, unless David and Nick want anything. I don't think I could bear to see either of them in a onesie I bought for Mike. Well, you could always put it on eBay and make some money. Let me just keep one thing. I'll keep his aftershave. I always wore the same one and I can spray it on my pillow. And then every time you do, you'll think of him. Oh, is that them? Was the Christmas market? Yeah, it was good. It was far too cold for little Harry, though. So, uh, Gary, Izzy and Jake are still there knocking back the glue vine. Well, not Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany's been helping me sort out Michael's Christmas presents. Didn't think I could face it, but she's been great. Oh. Well, it makes a change, one of us helping you out. <coughs> Honestly, Mum, the amount of stuff that you've done for us... I mean, look at David. There's just no way that he'd be starting to live a normal life again if it wasn't for you. 
I think it's payback time. Don't be daft. I mean, what would I have done without you two this last few weeks? Well, it is our turn to look after you, and we will. Okay. Oh, don't. I'm going to cry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's talk. Oh. Oh. She'll be thrilled. I've got a surprise for you. What? I'm not telling you. Mom? OK, well, I've got us tickets to see The Night Workers tomorrow night in Leeds. No way! Well, I was thinking you just deserve a really good Christmas present, so this is it, and so it's going to be me, you, Gary and Faye. That'll be good tonight. Yeah. Oh, he might be little, but he's got a big set of lungs. Who, David? <laughs> just saying, tonight should be good. Yeah, yeah, the band are really good, and Bethany says she likes her music, but I think she's got a crush. Yeah. Mum, please, can you stop talking about me like I'm a child? You know, you just like Faye. I'm two years old, and Faye. I've no idea what I'm going to wear. It's been years since I've been to a concert. Well, I'm sure you look gorgeous wherever you wear. Mum, please, can you be a little bit cooler? It's a gig, not a concert. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I not down with the kids? Oh, I'm really embarrassed for you. You know, first said the same to me, so at least we can be embarrassing together. <laughs> you know them jeans that you've got with the rips at the knees? Could I borrow them? Um, no. Oh. Do you know, I remember the first concert I went to, mm -hmm. and I went with my friend Candice, and we snuck in a bottle of vodka. <laughs> oh, Mum, you're <laughs> such a rebel. Oh, I've booked hotel for tonight, by the way. It's a last-minute deal, but it should be all right. Oh, thank you. That'll be perfect. I'll just pop by to tell you that. Oh. I'll see you tonight. See you trouble. I'm going to a concert. I'm going to a concert. Cool. You'll share it, yeah? I said I would, didn't I? Yeah, you and all. Share this big for me. What's it worth? Um, my respect. And a mega donor with garlic mayo if it goes viral. Yeah? <laughs> hey, you all right? Uh, you go to uh, sixth form, yeah? Yeah. I've got a couple of mates in sixth form. Danny and Greg, do you know him? Yeah. Yeah, I've got quite a few mates that are older. Interesting. What are you two talking about? I should just know some mates in sixth form. Mm, all right. Are hey, you uh, fancy coming to the Red Rack tonight? I can't. I'm going to a gig in Leeds. Oh, with, with who? Just some of my mates. Oh, cool. Faye, let's get your stuff and head off. Yeah, I'm coming. So your brother's babysitting you? Yeah? Bethany's coming as well. Aren't you? <sighs> what? The gig, we're going together, aren't we? Uh, yeah. That's no, probably a good thing you can't come tonight. You can get a bit full-on sometimes when we're out. Reuben can get served in the office because you got a fake ID. Not really your thing, is it? Yeah, it is. You don't have to pretend. You're just not the kind of girl who breaks the rules. That's more someone like her. What are you doing here? I live here, though. How come you're not at work? Cold and sick. Well, you don't look sick. No one gets past you, Cheryl. You know what, it? David? I've got a poly baby. If you're in one of them moods, don't bother. What's one of them moods? Sarcastic and nasty. All right, as opposed to my usual bubbly self. Do you know you can't Skype just because you've got a hangover? To have a hangover, you need to be able to buy drinks. Can't do that if your wallet's been nicked. Who buy? Doesn't matter who buy. What How matters... much money did you have? Well, only a tenner, but... The... Did you cancel your cards? No. My point is, there was a photo in it of Kyla. Well, you've got loads more photos. Yeah. Do you know what, Sarah? You just don't get it, do you? What's up with him? I think he's got a temperature. I was on about David. Well, I hope you can get a refund on that hotel you booked. Why? Harry's got the lurgy so we can't go. He's been being sick. He's burning up now. I'm so sorry. We'll be OK with him, Mum, won't we? Well, no, because I don't really feel comfortable leaving him with her. Can we just go another night? Well, this is the last night. Well, just go without me, then. No, I think we should leave it. No, come on, just cos your mum can't go, it don't mean we can't have a good time. Besides, I need you, all right? Otherwise, I'm stuck with a mighty teenager to talk to. Hmm, OK. Oh, well, good. You have a nice time, then. You just told us to go. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Thanks. Just make sure you look after her. I don't want her running off with any band members. Oh, as if any of them would be interested in me anyway. Hey, the look to get a girl like you. Right, what do you think of this one? Who cares? Uh, I do. I want to look nice. You think it's so pretty, don't you? No, I don't, actually. Yeah, right. Calm it down, yeah? Don't tell me what to do. 
What is your problem? You've been narky ever since we left. Maybe you just bring that out in me. Hmm, whatever. Drink as much as you like. I don't care if Gary smells it on you. Are you saying I smell? Of course you do. You should stick to the vodka like me. Doesn't smell of anything. Right, I'm going. Where? Shop, get some chibis or minty fresh. Well, you can't go on your own. Why? Because I'm a kid. Just leave me alone, yeah? in the shower. Been struggling with this for ages. Well, come here then. Thanks. Want your first to do it? Oh, she nipped to the shops. I think she was getting a bit sick of me. Yeah, I don't know what's got into her today. Mm, just at that age. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup in here if that's all right. I just think the lighting's better. It's fine, yeah. Do you want a beer? No, Tarn, you can't have one either. You're not old enough. Oh, flipping it, Grandad, calm down. My mum lets me. Does she? Of course. I'm not a kid. I'm nearly 17. Yeah, exactly. Not 18. Your mum would kill me. Oh, stop stressing. Do you think me and my mum never open a bottle of fizz together? We're like sisters. You sure? Ring her if you want. I'm sure she'd be happy to chat while she's dealing with a puking baby. And besides, you're not exactly her favourite person in the world right now after you abandoned her. She told us to go. Yeah, well, that's mum for you. Says one thing means another. She's dead annoying like that. Look, do you want a beer or not? All right, go on then. You know, all this stuff that I paste on my face must come to over 100 quid. And look at me. It does nothing. What are you on about? No matter how much I slap on, I still look like this. Hey, enough of that. All right, you've got a lovely face. Hmm. Yeah, right. Thanks for being polite, but I know what I look like. You're daft, you're a stunner. Anyone can see that. Am I? I promise you. Gary? Yeah. Do you love my mum? Um. I know you've not been together for very long, but do you love her? Well, I guess that's for me and her to talk about, isn't it? Do you think you'll get married? I don't know. Is that I know then? No, it's um. It's I don't think we should talk about this. Right, no one's answering. I'll go down and book a table, I'm starving. Oh, well, we've got time for one more, haven't we? Yeah, of course we have. Let me off is the orange. <sighs> Fine, orange, please. Yeah. That'll be five minutes. Biggie. How come you were lying on his bed looking well, Slutty? I wasn't. It's all in your head. Right, what's the oh, table? Brilliant. We might as well go straight down there then. Hang on a minute. Yeah, we've got 15 minutes, yeah. Um, I'll do your makeup for you if you want. Make you look dead gorgeous. Or you can borrow my new top. You don't even wore it yet. Uh, yeah, I was going to wear it tomorrow, but I reckon it'll look much better on you. Oh, nice one. So, come on then, Faye. Should we sort your slap? There's no point lying. 
Stop talking, you're gonna get lippy all over your teeth. Look, I'm not thick. I know what you were doing. <sighs> Cut it out, will you, Faye? You're boring me now. What's that? Can I have some? <sighs> it's vodka. No, you can't. You've had enough. What, so it's all right for you to knock it back, but not for me? You're just a kid. I'm only two years younger than you. Yeah, but I'm way more mature. You must hate your mum. <sighs> of course I don't hate my mum. What a dumb thing to say. So why are you trying to get off of a boyfriend? I wasn't! How many times? I'm not gonna let up until you admit it. I know what I saw. Do you know how old he is? I think I have some midnight glimmer scar in here somewhere. It's totally disgusting. He's 30, nearly twice your age. But age is just a number, okay? When you truly connect with someone, things like that don't matter. Wow, it's true. You weren't making a move on him. I wasn't! All right, we're not all like you. I'm not the one who had a baby at 13. Look, I'm sorry. All right, Faye, please don't tell anyone. Promise me you won't say anything. Give us that vodka and I'll think about it. What? Go on, give it us. I'm keeping this top and all. Do you want that, else? No, sir. This was supposed to be a top night out and she's ruining it. You do seem a bit down, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I know what's up with her. There's nothing up, I've already told you. She's got a secret. Faye! Look, she's told you something in confidence. She fancies someone. She's gonna make a move on him. I'm warning you. But don't worry, I'm not gonna tell him who it is. But well, I think you should know that it's an older man. Shut your face! How old? Same age as you. Right, well, that's enough. No one likes a snitch. I'm only saying it because it's ten types of wrong. Mum would go crazy. Fair, I said that's enough. Now shut up. Right. I'm going to my room. <sighs> Sorry about that. I don't know what's going to happen. There's a proper wind-up merchant. Tell me about it. Making a move on a bloke my age. Reckon you'd have more sense. You know I've got to ask, don't you? Be responsible if I do. It's true, innit? So, nothing's happened yet? Yeah. I don't see why people get so hung up on age anyway. So is it? Anyone that I know? It's not one of your teachers, is it? Uh. Someone off the street? Let's have a think. Um, Tyrone? No. Andy? No? Ah, Aidan. Women can't get enough of him. Stop it. Hang on, I've got it. It's Kirk, isn't it? <laughs> Don't let Beth find out, she'll knock your head off. She actually would as well. <laughs> Look, I know we're joking about it, but come on. A bloke that age, old enough to be a dad. Don't want him taking advantage. He's not like that. All men are like that. You're not. You're not like that at all. You should try to change the subject. Talking about you. Yeah, and that's the thing. What are you doing here? Well, Harry's perked up a bit, so my mum said she'll mind him for me. Mm. Hello. Nice one. I thought you were going to tell me to do one. Yeah, sorry I was a bit off you before. I'm just uh, disappointed you couldn't come. Yeah. I'm here now. Oh, will you do me a favour? You just grab me that menu because I am starving. Have I got time to get some food? Yeah, yeah, band's not on till now. Oh. All right, Chip. Burgers are good. So, what were you two chatting about? Ah, uh, you know, uh, life in the universe. Well, I thought it was something deeper meaningful. What's up? Found a wandering round the foyer. What's wrong? You're not feeling very well. Oh, I hope you haven't got that bug that Harry's got. In her case, I'm afraid it's a bug called vodka. Who's supposed to be looking after her? She's clearly underage. I feel sick. Feeling any better? I need to sleep. I don't know if that's safe. Who wish she chokes her own vomit? We've got to try and get some coffee down here. I don't even know if that works. Gary, your mum is going to do her nut when she finds out. This is the last thing she needs. Well, I don't know. Is where do you get the vodka from? Fair. Mm -hmm. Gary, just leave her. You're not going to get any sense out of No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. 
I promise you, I'm not going to let it lie. I gave the vodka, right? It was me. No. Why'd you do a thing like that? Gave it to her, and then I dared her to drink it. <sighs> Thinking? I'm sorry. Look, she was off her face, on her own. Anything could have happened. Yeah, all right, come on. No, she's supposed to be setting an example, not leading her astray. I know, but phase 14, she's not 10. She's obviously up for it. What, so you think this is okay? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Faye's not completely blameless in this. It's not like Bethany's been pouring it down her throat. She just admitted that she brought the vodka. That's all right, I do know that. Look, she's my daughter. Just let me speak with her. Where do you get it from? Don't know. Just a shop in town. And they didn't ask you for any ID? And how much have you both had? Half a bottle between us, but she had more. Yeah, because you just stood there and let her. And what else? We had a couple of bottles from the mini bar and I had a glass of wine with Gary. Oh, it's unbelievable. You're there, you're lecturing her about Faye and you've given a booze. She said that you normally let her have one. Yes, one. This isn't one, is it? It was half the flipping mini bar. And you've not even noticed. Oh, Gary, how can you be so slack? You're meant to be looking after him. Right, you, in there. I'm bunking in with you. And you, you can stay in here and look after your drunken sister. I'm so sorry, Gary. Please don't hate me. Grow up, Bethany. Oh, you just eat, will you? Hello? Is anybody serving? Strictly speaking, I shouldn't even be here. Put my feet up on the couch, enjoy my day off. Well, you are here, so I'll have a latte, please. Oh, to have in or take out? Better be to take out. You know, it's more environmentally friendly uh, to have in. These containers aren't actually biodegradable, it's the plastic coating you see. Look, I'm really sorry. I want them done by tonight. What? Yeah. My mum's livid with me as well. I'm sorry. Thanks for taking the blame. Didn't really have much of a choice, did I? You know, I weren't really going to tell you more about you liking Gary. I almost said it because we were jealous. Jealous? Of what? I saw you and Seb talking in the street before the gig. It just looked like you were flirting. That's ridiculous. We were just chatting. And you reckoned you're wealthy? Mm, well, that's really flattering, but I prefer my men slightly older. Mm, I know. Do you think they'll make up then? Gary and my mum. Don't look hopeful. You OK? Uh, yeah, fine. You don't look it. Just having one of those days, you know. Everything OK in school? Yeah, fine, since Lauren got expelled. So what is it, then? Come on, I can spot damsel in distress from a mile off. Special radar and soggy tissues. It's just, uh, just this lad. Ah, oh, relationships. I try to avoid them yourself. Stick to having fun. That's my advice. You see, the thing is... Anyway, I, I better go. Sorry, it was a summer. Uh, no, I was just going to agree with what you said. Good. Okay. I'll see you around. Get yourself home. You catch a death on me. Anyway, she was upset. She's a mate. Well, you mates with a lot of schoolgirls, are you? <laughs> Come on! If Luke says he don't know where she is... Not like he's going to admit it if he's done out. What is it you're trying to say? Stop it! Stop it! Luke has done How do you know? Faye, if you know something, do you know where she is? There she is! Where have you been? Your mum's been worried sick. Uh, I stayed at Lindsay's. I told her not to say anything. What, so you weren't with him? No, why would I be? You got something you want to say? Mate, I'm sorry. All right, I should have come to the wrong conclusion. No, you shouldn't have. Now, do us a favour, get lost and stay out of my face! 
You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, what's happened? Come on, we've got to let your mum know you're all right. Go on. Come on. I'm sorry. Sorry. You're sorry? Do you know that we've had the police here? That I've spent all morning walking round town? Your Gary has had a run-in with Luke. Your grand's been to the Trafford Centre. At least you could do a Christmas shopping. Oh, no. No, no, Bethany, don't even make a joke of this. I think your mum just wants to know why. I was embarrassed. I felt so stupid after everything that had happened in Leeds, after all the aggro that I'd caused you. Right, so you thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cause you ten times more. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, all I knew was that I wanted to get away, just be on my own. Oh, never mind the consequences for us. I am 16. Michael was in his 60s. And then he went missing a few weeks ago and then they found him dead. Did that thought not even cross your mind? No. Well, you should have done. <sighs> Who's this older man? You told her. I'm not doing the secrets thing anymore. And you were missing. So? There is no older man. Um, I made it up to look big in front of Faye. Oh, stupid girl. Stupid, stupid girl! Are you ever going to grow up? and you can sync it to your messages. Yeah, but does it actually tell the time? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, well, it was Gary's idea, but I will take the credit. Merry Christmas, Muppet. Not what I can do. No, all sorted. Not that they'll have any room for anything else. Look at them troughing away. Oh, really? Well, we're all out of health healthy eating, oh. even you. Oh, here we go. Another lecture. No. Sorry, Gary, but we can't all be as perfect as you. Right. Bethany? Well, he thinks he's God's gift and he knows nothing. I'm sure I spoke. Don't you dare ruin today as well. As well? Oh, what, a police hunt not good enough for you? Do you want to get any more little kids drunk? Today is a really big day for David, for all of us, and Gary is my guest. So? Oh. So? Oh, no, lose Ailey. the attitude or lose the watch. Oh. You're after an apology. I'm not. Look, you asked me in the hotel how I feel about your mum. And I'm crazy about her, OK? I think she's amazing. Funny that, so does she. And I'm in it for the long haul, so I want us all to get along. What, like you and David? That's different. <laughs> Have I ever lied to you? Did anything to hurt you? Then why is it so hard for us to be mates, eh? Because I'm a teenager. It's my job to make life difficult for everyone. Well, you do it so well. I was getting bored of you anyway. You're too easy to wind up. I need a bigger challenge. Here we Faye. Hi. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, these, these are for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh yeah, these are for you. Um, oh. uh, and uh, these are for Izzy and um, Jake. Oh, thanks. That's really generous of you, David. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Gary's just outside with Bethany. He's uh, helping fix up Lily's bike. He is such a star. Oh, I know. He's gorgeous. He's my son. <laughs> hey, come here. Merry Christmas, darling. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's from Jake, you all right? Mm -hmm. oh, you should have seen his face this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, sis. Uh, right, anyone for a drink? Uh, oh, can I have a snowball? Please? Yeah, I'll have a box of fish, cheers. Cosy. 
It's not what you're thinking, isn't it? It was a stupid crush. All right, me and Gary were just mates, and that's all we'll ever be. From Seb, sad face. So happy face, you're over. Mum, it's a joke. You're over Gary, my Gary. <sighs> Bethany, look at me, you're over Gary. Mom, she just thinks it's funny. Did you tell her that you liked him? Do you like him? Mum, gross. Is this why you've been acting up? Bethany! It's Nick, he's chasing Peter Barlow. What is he playing on? No, 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 you stay here, stay here. Your girl, show me what you're doing. You okay then? Can't see any other good looking girls crying into their Christmas jumpers. I'm not crying. My bad. Is it boy trouble? No. It's man trouble. They all think they can poke the noses into my business. <laughs> Please yourself. But the Rudolph look don't suit you. Just saying. She likes me. She's a teeny tiny baby. You're a great big looking thing. She'll grow to love you. Just like my entire will. in a giggle. Your Tyrone found you and he brought you to hospital. Did you... Did you mean to kill yourself? No. Maybe if Bethany and I could have a little chat. Yeah, OK, for sure. She can go home. I'm going to refer her to the primary care mental health team. They'll be in touch soon and then she can begin her therapy. Don't look so worried. I'm sorry, I just can't help thinking that this is my fault. I see cases like this all the time and there's never one simple answer, but you can help Bethany get better. I'll do anything that I can. Just support her. I know it's difficult, she's a teenager. But if you can, eliminate any extra stress from her day-to-day -day life. Talk to her. Be there for her. 
I'll just go and sign her release forms. That's traditional. Walk around the Red Wreck on Boxing Day. Get the family out of the way so you can talk to your crazy daughter. You're not crazy. Really? Well, if I'm not crazy, then I must be the dumbest girl in the world. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologise to me. But I do need to know something. <sighs> what? Did Gary lead you on in any way? He didn't do anything. This was all my fault. It was all in my stupid head. Like Callum? No. No, he used me. Gary was there for me. He helped me with my exam results, with Lauren, with the diet pills. He was on my side. I thought he liked me. He does like you. I thought he liked me like he likes you. I thought he loved me. And then when I realised he didn't, I felt so stupid. So worthless and... So I went back to the pills. I wanted to do something to change me. I would have done anything to make myself a different person. I know I shouldn't have taken them. No, you shouldn't. What kind of stupid idiot falls for a mum's boyfriend? Twice. No wonder I'm going to have therapy. <sighs> Do you want another brew? Yeah, in a minute. Um, will you just come here? We've, uh, we've got one less thing to worry about. What's that? Me and Gary have decided it's not really working, so we're not going out anymore. Well, what have you gone and done that for? Now I feel a hundred times worse. Why? You've split up because of me. Now it's like you can't have a boyfriend because I can't handle it. Well, I think you've just proved that you can't. Look, I'm not going to apologise for putting my precious daughter ahead of some barely even got going relationship with some guy. Look, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I love you and I will put you above anyone and anything. You don't have to. Well, it's my choice and I can be as stubborn as you. Oh, more. You don't even listen to me. Just come here a second. Like you even listen to me. I am telling you that you don't have to do this. I know, but it's my choice. It's done. It's fine. Can we just concentrate on getting you better, please? Watson, I just have to do what you say. Yes. You can start by thanking Tyrone, because he found you in that ginnel. And if he hadn't, I don't even want to know what would have happened. It's good to see you up and about. Thank you. Oh, yes, I love these. So some people get sick of chocolate over Christmas, but not me. Love it. I am really grateful, you know. Anything could have happened if you hadn't have found me. So my mum keeps telling me every five seconds. Oh, well, it wasn't me that found you, it was the other fella. What other fella? I think he said his name was Nathan. I was just passing and he came out of the ginnel carrying you, like, all passed out and floppy. Yeah, hang on. Well... These are for him, then, aren't they? Yeah, but I drove the cab. Yeah, well, thanks for that. And I didn't charge him a fare. A fare? Yeah, I mean, not that I would, of course. It was a mission of mercy. Do you know where he might have gone after? Just because I want to say thank you. Uh, yeah, I dropped him at the tanning salon on Corporation Road. OK, great, thanks. Yeah, we could always share them chocolates if you... Well, I can safely say no one's ever given me chocolates before. Uh, well, according to the docs, he pretty much saved my life, so chocolates are probably a bare minimum. A medal would be nice. Or a badge. A certificate. Uh, I could write you a thank you letter. <laughs> what did you take? Um, diet pills. You don't need diet pills. Yeah, well, I was just a bit mixed up. 
aren't we all? <laughs> Do you want a drink? Um, what kind of drink? Tea, coffee, water, juice. I'd best be getting back. To save your life. Okay, oh, water's fine. <laughs> You're pretty busy for Boxing Day. Spray every day. Uh. <laughs> I think we should put that up as a sign. Uh, yeah, it's good. I just made it up now. <laughs> Stick around. You're like my inspiration. <laughs> Pons are our new girlfriend. Uh, saved her life. <sighs> yeah, it's true. I fell off a tall building and he caught me. <laughs> She bought me chocolates. Standard gift for lifesavers. You were lucky. I threw him a can of lager yesterday. I dropped it on his toe. Is that Carrie? No, I told you that was just a stupid crush. So you've not got a boyfriend? If I had a boyfriend, I wouldn't be stuffing my face with diet pills, would I? Actually, no. That's not true. I don't need a boyfriend because I am a totally fulfilled, strong, independent person. Yes, you are. But... Oi! Uh, if you ever need someone to talk to, or a spray tan, or a life-saving lift to hospital, you know who to call.